Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will create a top app bar or you can say action bar or custom toolbar in Jetpack Compose. This is where the name of the app will be present and also here you can assign navigation menu or search action. It's very easy as compared to XML. So let's create it. Open Android Studio, create a new project, choose Jetpack Compose Empty Activity. Name it as Learn Top App Bar. And done. We will be creating a top app bar like WhatsApp top bar. But the app name will be WhatsApp with WhatsApp icon and with few more actions icon like search, account and all. So first let's start by adding a custom color which is green. So go to color.kt. Remember, don't go in traditional color files, okay? Here, write, well, green jc is equal to color as 0xff3fdc85. And done. Then go to theme.kt. We will use that green jc color as a main primary color. And over here in status bar color, status bar includes information about device like battery, Wi-Fi, SIM and all. So I will keep its color also as green JC. But here status bar color should be in int. So I will write here as 2 ARGB. That will convert in int. Got it? Till now we have a green color and primary theme set to green as well as status bar color also as green. Now moving on to the next thing, as I said, it's a WhatsApp top app bar. So for that, we will require WhatsApp icon. So let me copy paste it in the drawable. And done. Now come to main activity. This is where we will create top app bar in Composable. So let me remove the default code and done. Then I will create a new composable function as learn top app bar. And done. Make sure to call it here as well inside set on content. Then inside it I will create a top app bar. This is a class provided by Jetpack Compose only. So when you will click on it, you can see there are so many parameters which you can use to customize your top bar. Like I will use title, navigation icon, color and actions. Okay. So come back here. Also, you may be facing an error over here. I tried various solution, but the only solution that works for me was to opt in for experimental material 3 API. Like this way. It will automatically going to add an annotation over here. Problem solved. Next, as I said, we can add multiple parameters. So first is the title, means app's name, which I will give it here as what's up. Also, let me show you why preview is so useful. So I'll quickly create a preview composable function. And done. Now you can see live or real time updates as we create top bar. Open split mode, build refresh it. Now come back here in top app bar. Our first parameter was title. And as you can see here, we have a title as what's up. The next parameter will be navigation icon. This icon will be always at the start of the top app bar. Like how navigation drawer menu used to be at the start, same way. So inside navigation icon, I will write icon button. As it's a button, so obviously it will have on click. Means what will happen when you will click on that button? 
that we need to mention over here. And also other design parameters will be inside the curly brackets. Please don't get confused between brackets, okay? Here in on click, for now I'll simply throw a toast. So if you remember for toast, we require context. So here I will create a context variable as local context dot current dot application context and then then inside toast write context variable and toast as whatsapp toast dot length short and show now to design the icon button write icon inside the curly brackets as we will be adding WhatsApp icon image, so I'll be going for Painter 1. Write Painter Resource, whose ID as r.drawable.whatsapp icon. Then Content Description as maybe WhatsApp icon only. And that's it. The preview does get automatically updated, but if not, then refresh it. And see, we have a WhatsApp icon here. Next, let's give colors to the bar. So our next parameter is colors. Top app bar defaults dot top app bar colors contains container color, which is the background color of the bar. That I will give it as green JC. Then we can also give title content color as white. And also the navigation icon content color as white. And done. This is how it looks till now. Next, I want to add three icon here. So for that, I will use actions parameter. Inside it, I will create three icon button. First is for profile, second is for search and third is for menu. Got it? So let's create it. Icon button whose on click will be same toast only. So I'll copy paste it. Only thing that will change is the text as profile. Then inside it, I'll choose icon image vector because this time we will be using built-in icons. So icons field See, here is the list of all the built-in icons. Out of which, I will choose person for profile. Then content description as profile. Then tint means the color of the icon as white. And done. Same way, I will create other two actions icon as well. And done. Look, this one is for profile, this one is for search, and this one is for menu. And that's it. Our top app bar is ready. Last thing to do is comment this line because if surface will take the entire screen means max size, then action bar will not be visible. Hence, comment it. This is how it looks in preview. Okay? Now let's run the app. Our top app bar looks perfect. These four of them are icon button means it is clickable. So if I click on search, see a toast as search. Same way if I click on menu, it says menu. Got it. Likewise, you can create your own top app bar according to your app preference. Okay. So yeah, that is it for the video. If you are new to this channel, then please consider subscribing to my channel and I'll see you in the next video.